The sub-insert menu is available only in an assembly. Here we select a sketch containing three closed loops created within the insert. Activating the menu opens a dialog and previews three sub-inserts, one for each loop, which will be created. Next we change the default names for the sub-inserts. Clicking on OK will create the sub-inserts and corresponding cavities in the core insert and add them to the assembly. Now we look at some of the other options that this menu has to offer. We have prepared faces for the other two sub-inserts by coloring them in with a specific color. Activating the menu and selecting the color option changes the dialog which now requests the face or plane from where the sub-insert is to be created. Next, we select a face with a specific color and we can see that two more in sub-inserts with faces of the same color are now previewed. We add a rectangular base to the first sub-insert and a circular base to the second. We can also change the color of these sub-inserts by clicking on the color icon. Here we can see the new sub-inserts colored accordingly. Finally we create a sub-insert using the faces option. First we select the faces. Notice that for each disjointed selection of faces a new sub-insert appears in the list. Once the faces are joined the new sub-insert disappears. If one of the disjointed face has a hole in it, then a warning will show in the dialog referring to the sub-insert which has a hole and offering a solution which is to click on the right hand mouse button on a face belonging to the sub-insert and select Find Missing Faces. The hole is closed. Of course you have the option to not to close the hole. This is an excellent tool to make sure that you have selected all the faces you need for the sub-insert. Next, select the faces of reference plane from which the sub-insert is to be created. The sub-insert is previewed and created. Here we see the inserts with the cavity and the sub-inserts in the assembly. What happens if we want to modify the sub-insert? Since we have created it with SolidWorks standard functionality, we can easily modify the rev relevant sketch and everything will update. We will modify the previous created sub-insert. Editing the sketch from the BOSS extrude in the sub-insert folder and deleting some of the segments We then join the two straight segments to form a corner. Closing the sketch will update the sub-inserts and the corresponding cavity, showing that we have maintained the SOLIDWORKS associativity. This is the modified sub-insert. Sub-insert menu is a new feature in Splitworks 2017.